Good morning. Today, we're going to discuss the last lesson for the arts first quarter in grade 8, entitled, Mood and Idea of Artifacts from Southeast Asia. Lesson Objectives In this module, the learners are expected to identify the different artifacts and art objects from the selected Southeast Asian countries. Identify the distinct characteristic of the different artifacts through elements and principles of arts. Analyze the moods, ideas, and message of different artifacts and art objects from the selected Southeast Asian countries. And appreciate the different artifacts and different artifacts and art objects from the selected Southeast Asian countries through creating a relief sculpture. Lesson Vocabulary Sculpture Sculpture is a process of making arts into two or three dimensional representative. Relief Sculpture Relief Sculpture is a technique where the sculpted elements remain attached to a solid background of the same material. Carving Carving is a process of scrapping away or cutting portion of any materials using tools into a shape. Cast Cast an object made by pouring molten metal or other material into a mold. Mediums of Sculpture There are so many mediums of, or materials to be used in sculpture like stone, metal, bronze, clay, ivory, wood, glass, wax, and random found objects. Artifacts and Art Object of Southeast Asia In Cambodia, the art of stone carving a flourished in Cambodia. The small statue to the breathtaking carving found at Angkor Wat. This art medium has become one of the country's most cherished art form. The art stone carving in Cambodia has a very long, fascinating history which go back in the foundation of the Khmer Nation. While Tan Land, Wat Po, and Bangkok is a 46 meter long and 15 meter high, it is made of plaster on a brick core and finished on gold leaf. The feet are inlaid with mother fur. The most used material in Thailand sculpture are wood, stone, ivory, clay, and various metals. The most notable sculpture are the Thai bronze, famous for their originality and grace. In Laos, artisans use a variety of media in their sculpture creation. The most famous statue made of gold is the Frase of the 16th century, which the Siamis carried home as lot in the late 18th century. Another famous sculpture in Laos is the Phra Bang, which is also cast in gold. Unfortunately, its craftsmanship is said to be a Siamese origin rather than Lao. It is traditionally believed that relics of Buddha are contained in the image. In Vietnam, Vietnamese sculpture has been heavily influenced by the three traditional religions, Taoism, Confucianism, and Buddhism, which come from neighboring countries, China and India. Dong Son culture is famous for its kettle drums, small carving, and house utensils which have handles sculpted in the shape of men, elephants, tads, and tortoise. Morning houses in Vietnam erected to honor the death of the GRI and Bana. Ethnic groups are symbolized by the statute place in front of the graves. These statues include couple embracing pregnant women, people in mourning, elephants, and birds. Indonesia Indonesia is known for its stone bronze and Iron Age arts. The native Indonesian tribes usually create sculpture that depict ancestor, deities, and animals. The evident in the free Hindu, Buddhist, and pre-Islamic sculpture from the tribes. 
The sculpture can be found in numerous archaeological sites in Sumatra, Java, to Sulawesi. The most amazing sculpture in Indonesia, a smart wooden sculpture. Dayak, wooden mass and sculpture. Toraha, ancestral wooden statue. This is Batak, totem like sculpture. Nias tribe. This is Borobudur Temple. A temple in central Java can be found the most prominent sculptures that measures hundreds of meters of relief and hundreds of stone Buddhas. Bali and Hepara in Indonesia, the most richest flayes, most elaborate and vivid sculpture and wood carving tradition can be found. There are Balinese handicrafts, Sculptures, masks, and other carving artworks are popular souvenir items for tourists. Malaysia have their own sculpture way. The relief sculpture are most common in Malaysian artifacts. Relief wood carving frequently adorns the doors, walls, windows of traditional Malay houses and popular motif mostly various kinds of Malaysian flowers and plants. Kinds of Malay wood carving, Okiran halos, fine carving of relief pattern, hills of carry short Malay dagger, bedhead, and cupboard tops. Okiran kasar, literally meaning drop carvings on large objects like furniture, pillars, windows room portion, and eaves of roofs. Sengal, the preferred wood for building houses and boat. In Singapore, Merlion, one of the most popular landmarks, the city of Singapore, depicting a mythical creature of a lion's head in a body of fish, it is also partly inspired by the story of how Singapore got its name, the Singapore story. It's measured 37 meters standing and made from glass reinforced concrete. Maryamam Hindu Temple, it was constructed and dedicated to the goddess Maryamam, who worshipped by her power to cure disease. Its most interesting feature is its impressive gafura, or the tower, over the main entrance which is decorated with numerous Hindu deities. Brunei People in Brunei take sculpture more on utilization role rather than aesthetic one. Metal sculpture at Asean Park, a metal works at Asean Park in Brunei, which was established in 1975 by Brunei Arts and Handicraft Training Center to revive and promote the nation's dying tradition of crafts, including metal work. That's all for the Arts First Quarter. Thank you.